There's a flood coming! What's up everyone, welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing the fisherman from Clash Royale. Let's get started on the top center of our page with the nose. So we start with the bottom edge, starting over on the left side, we're gonna draw a curve. Coming down, and then back up on the right. We wanna leave a small gap on either side and draw a curve going in the opposite direction. So start on the left side, curve up, and then down. Now we're going to move to the sides and add in the nostrils. Starting from the bottom of the line on the left, we're going to curve out and then create an overlap along the bottom. Going out and then just tucking that in. Do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then tucking that in. Now we're going to tuck the mustache in underneath the nose. Starting underneath the left nostril, curve out and then down. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now let's connect these two lines with a curve, going up in the middle and then down on the right. From the outside corners, we're going to draw two short lines coming down. And we're going to draw the bottom edge of the mustache. Starting back on the left, we're going to follow that same curve, going up and then down. Now we're going to draw the mouth open underneath the mustache. From the bottom corner, we're going to step in, draw a half circle, coming down and then up on the right. Now I just want to trace this out on the inside, the inside edge of the mouth. And let's add the tongue along the bottom. Over on the left, we're going to curve up and then down. We'll add a couple teeth along the top underneath the mustache. Starting from the center, we're going to curve down and up toward the left. Go back to the center, curve down and up on the right. Let's fill the inside area of the mouth in black. Now let's move back up towards the top of the nostril. We're going to curve out and down towards the bottom edge of the hat. So let's start with the left side. Starting from the top of the nostril, curve out and then down. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Curving out and then down. And then from here we're going to curve down and in towards the center of the beard. Let's start with the left. Curving down and then in. Curve out and then up. Now from the ends, we're going to draw two short lines coming down. We'll go to the center and draw that same length line. Now we're going to connect the outside to the inside with that same curve. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We'll move back up towards the side of the mustache. we we'll curve out and then up underneath the edge of the hat. Now we're going to draw on the top of the hat. Start from the center of the nose at the very top. We're going to draw a straight line going up towards the top brim of the hat. To right about there. We're going to move back down towards the bottom corner of the beard. Draw two straight lines going out and then up. Now we're going to connect the outside towards that center line with a curve. Going up. Just bend that in towards the top. Now we're going to draw on the top of the hat. From this point, we're going to step out towards the left. Right out here, we're going to curve up over that center point and then down on the right side. Now from here, we're just going to curve out and down in behind the hat brim. Then we're going to add a seam along the top of the hat. Starting on the left point, curve in and then down. And same thing on the right. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Over on the left side, underneath the beard, we're going to curve out and then down towards the hip. Go to the right and do the same thing. Curving out and down towards the same height. Now let's add in the straps. Halfway down the side of the body, draw a straight line coming in. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to follow that same curve of the body going up and in underneath the beard. Let's add two small circles along the bottom. From the inside edge of the left strap, we're going to curve down the middle and back up on the right. 
From the hips, we're going to step in towards the middle and down, draw a curve from left to right, come down, and then up. Let's leave a gap in the center, move over towards the left, and curve out and down towards the left heel, go to the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to round off the heel, come up towards the toe. Round this out, and then curve this up. Do the same thing on the right. Rounding off the heel, curve out, and then up. Now we're going to add three toes on either side. Starting from this line, curve down, around, and then back in. Almost like drawing a large C. Let's stack two more toes in behind. On the outside, we'll curve around and in. We'll do that one more time. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Starting with the big toe, the backward C, and we'll add two more toes. In between the last two toes, we draw a curve going up on top of the foot and then in. Do the same thing on the right, curving up and pulling that in. Let's go back up to the hips and draw on the side of the leg. Starting from the left, we'll curve out and then down just on top of the foot. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve down and then in towards the inside of the leg. And then from the corner of the pant, we'll step in, draw a curve going out and down on top of the foot. Let's add a patch on the right side of the body. Starting out here, we're going to draw an angled line going up and out. We're going to add in square. From the ends, we'll draw a straight angled line coming down towards the bottom. And we'll close this off with a straight line. And then we'll add the stitches around. Drawing two angled lines coming in. Draw two along the side. One on the outside. And then one along the bottom. Now we're going to move up and draw on the arms. The arm on the left is going to be holding a fish and the arm on the right is going to be holding the anchor. Let's start with the left side. From the top of the body, we're going to step out, curve down, and then out towards the wrist, and we'll curl around the thumb. From the wrist, we're going to curve up, bend this down, round out the thumb, and then go back up. Let's add three fingers in behind the thumb. So along the side, we're going to draw a half oval, curving out, and then back in. From the outside, do that again. We're going to curve out, Round out the finger and then pull that up underneath the thumb. And do that one more time. Curving around and then in. Now we're going to draw the same thing over on the right. Let's line up the top of the arm, curve down and out towards the wrist. Now let's draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we'll curve up, come down, round out the thumb, and then pull that back up. Now we're going to add three fingers. Start with that first finger, the half oval. Step down, draw on the second finger going up underneath the thumb. I'm going to do that one more time. Let's go to the left side and draw on the fish. From the top of the finger on the outside, we're going to curve up and then out. We're going to round this out and then pull that back in. Now from the top, we're going to curve in and then down on top of the thumb. Let's move down towards the bottom of the fingers and add in the tail. Over on the left, we're going to curve out and down. Go to the right, go in the opposite direction. And I'm just going to pull this in and then up just underneath the finger in the center. Let's add some detail to the fish. Over on the left side, we're going to draw a curve coming down and back up on the inside. Let's move to the left and draw in a circle for the eye. Draw a smaller circle on the inside, and we're going to fill that in black. From the top point of the head, we're going to curve down and then in. And I just want to trace this out along the outside. So we step out, trace that same curve, round up the inside, and go back up. Let's add the fin on the back. From this line, we're going to curve out and then down. Come down and then in. We'll add two small fins on the inside. Starting from this line, we're going to come down, round out the bottom of the fin, and then go back up. Line this up on the outside of the body, curve in, 
and then back out. Let's draw on the bottom of the arm. Starting underneath the tail, curve in and then up. Sort of aiming towards the top of the wrist. Now we're doing an overlap. Stepping down, curve down and then up in behind the body. Now we're gonna add the anchor over on the right side. Let's start by drawing a circle in behind the thumb and the finger. So start on top of the thumb, go around, and then back in behind the fingers. From the top of the circle, we're gonna draw two short lines coming down, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve coming down and then back up. Let's add the knot. Starting over on the left, we're gonna curve around, up over the circle, and then down and in on the right side. We can do that one more time. Stepping in, curve around, up towards the top, down, and then in. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the bottom of the anchor. Starting underneath this finger, draw two straight lines, coming down side by side. And then from the bottom, we're gonna curve out and then up. From the end, we're gonna draw two short lines going up and in. I'm gonna go straight out towards the tip of the anchor on the left and right side. And then from the ends, we're gonna curve down and in towards the center point. Let's start with the left. Curving down and then in. Curve out and up on the right. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of the arm exactly how we did on the left side. Starting from the inside edge of the anchor, we're gonna curve in and then up, aiming towards the top of the wrist. Step down, curve down, and up in behind the body. From the top of the anchor, we're gonna draw the rope coming around and then in behind the legs. Let's start over on the inside along the top, curve up, round this out, and then come down in behind the arm, in behind the arm and the anchor. At the bottom, we're just gonna curve down and in behind the legs. We want to continue this line going in between the legs, going across, go to the left side, we'll curve out, and then down. Now we want to trace this curve along the top. So we're going to step up, let's trace that same curve, going in, in between, go all the way up. Now we're going to come up towards the top, in behind the beard, around behind the hat, and then down on top of the anchor. Let's go back and close off the end. We're going to connect the top and bottom with a curve point out and then in. And then we're going to add a knot. Starting from the bottom, curve down, around, and then just pull this in on top. And we're draw another half circle. From the top of this curve, we go up, around, and then in. Now let's add in the rope texture. Starting in here, we're going to start from the left side. We're going to curve up and then across. Now we're going to add a texture across the knot. Starting on the left, we're going to curve in and down. Go out. Do that two more times. Let's do the same thing along the top. And then from the inside of the rope, curve up and then out. Leave a gap. Curve out and up. Now we're going to continue along the rope, coming all the way down. And behind the arm. And we're going to go in between the legs, going out and up. And then go out towards the left, towards the knot. And we'll add a couple more along the knot, starting from the outside, curve in and down. And on the outside knot. And there we have it, there's the Fisherman from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, make sure you subscribe. And send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.